Good morning. It's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How are you guys doing? Okay, so I have a great Tuesday morning haul to bring you. I went to, um, this is actually from a couple of stores. One I went um, last week and I only got pick up a few things and I just didn't have time to do the video. And I'm glad I didn't because I went to return something. Um, a couple of things that I bought um, a few weeks ago, at, like actually six weeks ago and um when i went to return it last week returned some stuff last week i forgot those two items and actually i bought some more stuff last week's and one of them i had to return so nevertheless long story short long story long <laughs> however you want to say it um i um i was so happy to find out because my friend uh, Joyce from my YouTube channel, she told me that if you sign up, if you are a Perk Tuesday Morning Perk member, that you actually have not 30 days, but 60 days to return um, your stuff if you didn't love them. And I actually didn't know that. I've been a Perk member forever. I signed up to their email. I never really read them. It doesn't really say anything. It doesn't allow you to shop online. But hey, if you give me an extra 30 days to return stuff, that is awesome. And I never knew that. Um, I've always rushed to return stuff when I need to. And that's now it gives me a little bit of breathing room. So I'm so happy. Um, but Man, did I hit the jackpot at this Tuesday morning. This was right next to my hairdresser. I went to get my hair wash installed today because I have a big weekend coming up with a bunch of boutiques and things I have to do. And they had a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of paper crafting stuff that I'm going to show you in a little bit. So I'm going to start with some um, kind of miscellaneous stuff first, and then I'll go to the papers and things, okay? So I found, um, this is like my favorite thing. I do look a little bit, not all the time, in the kitchen organization section of Tuesday morning. And um, this time I'm so happy I looked because I found these two, two of these. I bought them both. Um, they're kind of, I wanted to get something similar like this, but I didn't want something too shallow for my embellishment when I'm working on with a collection or something like that. So I can put, you know, I don't know, cut out here, different type of cut out here, maybe drilling, you know, images and maybe some um, uh, 3D embellishment wood pieces or enamel dots or something like that in here. Um, and they were awesome. It's from a company called, um, let's see, uh, Kenton, Kenton Gray. And it's $4.99, supposedly they cost five bucks, supposedly it cost $10 before. It had some rubber feet, which is wonderful. And this rubber mat inside, so things don't slide around too much. And they're 13, 13 inches, here you go, 13 inches long by six inches wide by two and a half inches deep. So I thought that was just a perfect size. So I was so happy to find this. I found something similar, but much shallower and much smaller at um, uh, Dollar Tree, but that didn't quite work for me because it was a little bit too small. And then I was so happy when I saw this, not too far from it. Um, and when it was packed up like this, I, I thought, okay, that's awesome. It looks like they had um, a divider tray because I can kind of see there's a divider here when I looked into the package, but this was sealed up, so I couldn't see. But then I, I said, okay, they say I have six pieces here, right? This is by a company called Simple Made, and I counted them go one. Okay, I only counted one, two, three, four. And I thought they were all the same, and I didn't look at this, but it turns out, um, so I complained to the lady, to the um, cash register person, and when I got home just before this video, um, I took it apart to get ready for you guys, and I thought this was, by the way, $12.99, so she said, okay, since you're missing, it's, it's incomplete. I'll give it to you for half the price. So I pay six fifty dollars for these items. Then it turns out that I made a mistake. When I put it all apart, they actually had six pieces in here. 
but they've not divided piece at all not like the one i would i just show you they're stackable and they got rubber feet and so on but there's two medium two small and two large and it's kind of wrinkled so i'm glad i got a discount anyway but still it was um it wasn't exactly what i wanted because i wanted them you know one divided up like that but with a larger section but that's okay i will make do and the, the, for that price it's crazy the size is 16 inches long um six about six and a half wide and 1.75 inches high uh the medium one is nine nine and a nine and a half long and this one is six and a six and a six and a half long something like that so it's really really nice and i love the clear acrylic it just looks so much nicer um to see stuff right and then i found i saw this in the clearance bin in the kitchen area and it was so funny this one this price at 4.99 and then it had a clearance red sticker here for um six dollars and so i asked the i called over one of the um Tuesday morning people and I said can you check this for me because that can't be the discounted price it's higher than the original price so she went check for me and it turns out somebody just put the wrong price on here I think it's actually a customer not even an employee but um, she checked and this was on clearance for $1.99 because it was in the clearance bin and I, I don't need any measuring cup I don't bake I don't cook I don't do any of that but I know that we, the one we have at home is kind of really ugly and boring looking. And this is blush rose, you guys, plus pink. So I picked it up for $2. I can't go wrong. And it's so cute. This, <laughs> when I turn it around, this kind of, I don't know, made me think of a baby bum. So a butt, um, cute rosy butt from a, my kid. But anyway, so I got that. And then um, let's talk about that after. And then we were, I, the girl that was looking up the price for me for the measuring spoons, she, well, I don't know what how we got to it, but we started talking about coffee. And yesterday when I went, um, I had stopped. That was the first day I stopped drinking coffee because I was telling her that I put so much sugar and so much, um, and I used agave sugar, which is a little bit healthier, but I put so much milk and, you know, stuff in it creamer to to make it taste less bitter um so it was so high calorie first thing in the morning so i i decided to have some green tea yesterday and um so she showed me she went and said you know this is very popular with our shopper i use it all the time for myself anyway and it's called the jordan skinny syrup and they also have a brand called Cafe Plus, and they literally have two, three shelves of these, even more, I think, four shelves of these. They're especially popular. Um, they're popular everywhere. So, I mean, you can get them anytime, but these cute little packaging, um, they only have it during the holiday season. But anyway, I love salted caramel, so I picked up um, the Cafe Plus one in salted caramel. It's sugar-free, calorie-free. And you just pour a little bit, maybe a, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, depend on your flavor and how much you drink. And it's 25 ounces of it. I can't wait to try it. I didn't want to open it this morning. So I'm, I'm having green tea today, this morning, but tomorrow I will try it and I will let you know. Um, and then I picked up this one. It's a different brand. I believe this one is a more popular brand. It doesn't matter at all, but um, it comes with some salted caramel vanilla caramel and caramel pecan and this one gives you 38 ounces for 6.99 this because it's cute and it's pretty and you don't have to give somebody a gift this whole thing you can definitely break it up um and so on and this one is 3.99 which i thought was like <laughs> what a what a great price and then she told me i should get the delight um uh, what do you call it? The Delight cream Creamer, which is just introduced a light version. And it's um, supposedly really, really good. And it's available at Vaughn. So I'm going to go pick that up today when I dropped off my daughter at her orthodontist appointment. So anyway, and then I saw these cute fuzzy socksy 
I love Fuzzy Socksy and these looks much better quality than the Dollar Tree one. It seems thicker and you get a three pack. It was only $3.99, you guys. It was like so cute. It's like a little bit over a dollar, a dollar thirty. So I picked that up, have some cute Christmas color. I don't know what I'm going to do with them exactly, all of them, because I can't use them all. But I do um, walk around the house with either slippers or socks on so we'll we'll see these do not have the the rubber thing in the bottom so maybe a little slippery depends on what kind of floor you have but nevertheless um and then i i saw this one in the clearance bin oh my gosh i i'm so glad i picked it up and looked at it because the front didn't look anything real fancy it was and it the discount is not huge it's only five bucks to four dollars but the binding was interesting and um so on so i went ahead and picked it up and looked through it and oh my god check this out it is such a fun by the way if you don't know i'm crazy for notebook i buy them and i can't even use them because they're so cute i just save them <laughs> i just hoard them but i'm trying to get to use them but this one has such a pretty apple green um, color in here a little craziness now and then and it it seems like it has some cute stuff for almost every page you have some wonderful quote grab life by the handlebar why not is a slogan for an interesting life and it always have some cute artwork if it doesn't have anything else but you know it literally have things on every page no no page is left untouched which I love. Then here and there, they have like all of a sudden some blue paper. It's just all over the place. And it's so, such a great all over the place. You know, it's just there to be different or to be wacky and wild. <laughs> Look at that pineapple with the, with the glasses. I love it so much. And then they, uh, now they have that and beat, skip, skip to your own beat. Then we have some note paper. Look at that right and then some peach color paper it's so happy i can't wait look at that paint the town every color it's so fun i love it i love it if you see it pick it up because you're gonna be so happy you did um and then i picked up some dyes i knew i actually i never knew momenta dye at all and I pick up a, some, a few during the Hobby Lobby clearance sales. And I'm so happy I did because after I actually had a chance to cut them up and so on, I really like them. Um, they tend to be more delicate in general. I mostly use Anna Griffin dyes so far and a few Crafters Companion and a few Diamond Press. But um, now I'm introduced to a few more. I also pick up some Spellbinders because I also try some doing the Spellbinders warehouse sales as well as the Hobby Lobby, and I also like them very much. So these were not, you know, crazy price, but they're not like the Hobby Lobby sale, but they're not bad. $8 for these two, which is the smaller, kind of like an A2 size. And then the nested die, which I always love. They're a little bit higher. They're 13. I love that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you get five for this one. And then I picked this up. It was on, on sale um from 12 to 8 and i gotta keep i gotta look closer because i went to cut this and it was so thin it was just like melting into my magnetic mat and i after i took it out i realized it was for the glimmer um a hot foil machine which i have to go buy soon i'm kind of researching a little bit about which one i should get and so on but Nevertheless, when I do, I bought a few by mistake also at Hobby Lobby. And so now at least I have some um, glimmer one or, or foil, hot foil one to use when I actually buy my hot foil machine. But this, look how cute that is. It's such a pretty little label thing and it's just very, very, very nice. So I cut these up for you to see. So in case you wanted to get it, um, this is the the Christmas wreath one. I cut it in white because I, I plan to maybe do some coloring in here and so on. Um, this, I saved this for you. This is a, such a cute little thing that came from here. I thought you could you even use that as embellishment or the center of a flower or something. And then the um, uh, ornaments, 
panel page, so pretty, cut out beautifully, and so on. And this is the nested die in that um, scallop uh, format. This looked like a stamp to me, so that's actually would be a, a really cute one to use. And you can also stack up two of the size next to each other and cut out a frame, okay? So that way, um, if you put this one and this one together, you know what I mean. But anyway, if you don't, comment me and I'll, I'll uh, share it with you. And then I cut these out. I really like this a little bit wonky um, rectangle frame. And I don't know, I think I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five. Huh, interesting. I don't know why I miss one, but there's one in the middle here. It's probably fell down somewhere. Anyway, um, so that's the die, right? It's really cute. And then I found like, I don't know, eight collections of Bella Boulevard, which I am so happy about um, because Bella Boulevard is, is a um, uh, sister company of Doodlebug. It's by the same company, but I have not really started to collect them too much. I have some, a few collection. I have a few paper here and there, but that's why everything that they had at Tuesday, the Tuesday morning I went yesterday, I didn't have at all in my inventory except for a couple pieces of paper from from a couple of those collection. So before I show you that main, all the main stuff, I did find this cute paper swat, uh, paper pad, and they don't have this collection in the big one. So I picked this up because, you know, Christmas paper we can always use. We do a lot of Christmas, um, Christmas uh, card and things like that and project. Um, the paper pads from Bella Boulevard, everything from Bella Boulevard is a lot more is a lot more expensive than the um, doodle bug. I don't know why it's crazy for me, um, but that's what they do. And like their collection kit is around 18 to $22. Like the Cooper and, and Cooper is the dog collection and Chloe is the cat collection. Those go for like $24, I think. I, I can't remember exactly, but much higher than doodle bug. And even their paper pad is much higher. That's why this is higher too. So. Let me flip through these. These are double-sided and it's 24, I believe it's 24 piece of paper to each. Okay, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Like, look at that hedgehog. And the back is always kind of um, just, you know, a little bit more neutral. Like the cute Santa face. The Rudolph right here. Beautiful multicolor snowflake page. I got Christmas in every color, some Nutcracker. My daughter does Nutcracker every Christmas. She's actually, uh, is going to be Clara this year. And so that's going to be easily used. I actually bought the um, Recollection Holiday Nutcracker Ballet or something. And that has a lot of Nutcracker in there. And I also have some Nutcracker dye. So this Santa is so cute, riding in his car. There's some pretty flower paper cute stripes and that's candy cane in case you can't see this small pattern is great to use and on the border strip cute right look at these cut apart how sweet is that i love that one it's too bad it's a little too small to see some heart paper and then it repeats with the santa face right I don't remember seeing that one. Okay, anyway, anyway, so that's the um, six by six paper. And then let me show you the tremendous, yeah, a little bit heavy collections that I got. I alphabetized them so it's a little bit easier um, for me, but also for you maybe. Let me see if I can zoom that in. That's fine. This one is called Bug Explorer. And um, some of these kit is have the the 6 by 12 sticker sheet. Some of them have the big doohickey sticker sheet that's 12 by 12. And some of them don't even have it at all. So it's sort of strange. Most of the collection is $7.99. And there was, um, I think, two or three that was $9.99. See if I can remember and share with you which one that is. But this one is six ninety nine. I mean seven ninety nine, and you do have a a bonus paper in the back here that's not repeated in here. These collection come with two piece each. Look how cute these cloud 
uh, pages, very juvenile, but sweet. And I'm not into bugs per se, although I used to be <laughs> when I was young, but my son was never into bugs, but I, I don't mind because I can use this paper and um, sometimes I need some bugs too. So here's the, I love this one. That's so pretty. And here's some ladybug. Now I do love ladybug. And my daughter was dressed up as a ladybug when she was uh, two years old, one and a half years old at, um, at Halloween. Look at the grasshopper. I love this stripes. And this is what they call their um, sort of cut apart uh, Bella Boulevard called them um, daily details. I love, see, you can use that for Halloween. That's super cute. Don't bug me. <laughs> Buzz off. And that those uh, bees. And I like the, the mason jar so much. That's so cute. Ants can carry three times their weight. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine us being able to carry like 300, 400 pounds of stuff? Yeah, because I'm not 100 pounds for sure. Um, and here's their borders. Very cute. What'd you find? I got one. I got one going on a bug hunt. Cute. And craft paper. And some gingham. And then some bug paper. Yeah. And then this is their doohickey. I'm going to turn it so you can see it better. It's just one side. And it's, you know what, I can do, I can go ahead and do that, maybe easier. Yeah, yes, this is my, the second time I'm taping this. Yesterday when I got home, I was so excited. I went ahead and, and videoed for you guys, but then there was so much blurriness. I think I didn't, I don't think that I did it correctly. I was, it kept focusing down here instead of the stuff I picked up. So I have to make sure that the whole thing get into frame. So that was Bug Explorer. And um, this is that style. I love this collection. I was able to pick up, I think, three pieces of paper from a, um, a sales from some company. Can't remember who now. But I really want the full collection. And I finally found it. It's completely discontinued everywhere. So um, this is so cute. And I'm planning to make a collection, a book for my husband for his seven, 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 70th birthday. So this would be going to great use. That's the bonus paper. Now they have this pie chart. Um, it's called Hustle and Heart. I don't know what that means. But um, it's like, you know, men tend to be business people. So pie chart is a good to, to use, but it's cute. And then a really nice background paper back there. My husband loves shoes, love Italian leather shoes. And so this is a perfect um, paper for us to, for me to use for him and then in the back just a pretty easy background paper and then this is their daily detail my hero a hundred percent awesome oh I see what they did here they use um, that to like label different percentage of different things that uh, they are which is I think that's cute He's on dad's time. Does this shirt make me look like a dad? That's cute. King of a corny jokes. That's my husband. He has strange sense of humor sometimes. Love this paper. Love that. And this my um, husband also love to collect some extremely expensive watches from Switzerland and so on. So this is going to be perfect for him as well. There we go. And then I love this paper. I've always loved words paper. You know, that's world's bad dad, handsome, understanding, funny, reliable, amazing, and so on. Yeah. And that, oh, that stripes is nice. And then this one show you the borders. Mentor, protector, friend, coach. You're just like your dad. Very nice. And then some cute polka dot in the back. Yeah, yesterday I was doing this and I made it all. Let's well, see, today it didn't do that. It, oh yeah, because I'm filling up the thing. No, even yesterday I was filling it up and this was not focusing. I don't know why. So weird. Um, so anyway, this is the um, sticker sheet, 6 by 12 Not a lot of embellishment, but hey, that's okay. 
um, and so that was that style. Now I found one that's called Home Sweet Home. Look at this happy color. I love colors. It's so nice. This one has a lot of paper. It was, seems like it. Anyway, look at these cute houses, you guys. Oh my gosh, so cute. Wouldn't that be fun to have a house that looked like this? Okay, my house have a hot pink roof and some pretty heart paper. This one say all, always welcome. And the little loopy loop, you can you see it form a heart. So cute. And then this crazy zigzag, whatever pattern, happy colors. Then we have these pretty um, plants in a bucket or whatever you call it, in a planter. <laughs> and pretty uh, green shrubbery paper. These happy flowers. I love this. This could be easily cut apart if you want to make embellishment because I don't have any embellishment from this collection. Because everything I think is sold out. And this kind of looked like a lemon slice, slice a cross section of a lemon slice or a kitchen tile. And then that's the same pattern in a smaller format. Some pretty hearts. So cute and polka dots. Disney! Every time I look at red and white polka dots, I think of Disney. You know my heart. Family's everything. Love, laughter, loyalty, respect. The houses and so on. And this is navy blue. And this is the daily detail. Very pretty. Sweet, right? And that's the back. And this is what they call the doohickey. Now, doohickey, if you look around, like go to scrapbook.com and look up Bella Boulevard doohickey. They're like $4.99 or $5.99. I don't know why they're so expensive. They're the same as, you know, the Simple Stories or Echo Park sticker sheets. So crazy how it's so expensive. So that this one I picked up called Island Escape and supposed to be a summer tropical kind of like kit. And this is the um, bonus paper. Is that fun? It's such a fun pa um, floral paper. And these are so cute. Very large. These are good for to cut apart. And that's the background, navy blue with like, I don't know, some, some kind of brush dot. And I don't know what these are. Are they dinosaur lumps or I'm not sure, but they're pretty. They're cute color wise. I don't love this wave paper, so I'm gonna have to try to use the other one. And then this one is their borders. Life is better on the beach. You know it. Sea sun salt surf. Look at those bananas. My, both my husband and my daughter love banana. I don't, yeah. They're great on Sunday, on Sundays, ice cream Sunday. But uh, beside that, I don't love them. And they're great. I love plantain. Have you ever had plantain chips? Oh, there's like, they, they're a slightly different kind of banana, usually from, um, you know, tropical area like in, in South America. They're so delicious. Kind of a little bit sweeter, but just have a different texture. Even fresh, they're good. Um, let's keep that. Some pineapples. Some pretty dots. That's so pretty. And then we have this pretty um, sticker sheet. Yeah? Okay. So that was Island's escape this one is called make your mark and this kit has gold foil so this was $9.99 you get two sheet each as well but look all this have gold every every almost i think not every paper have gold foil but this one does the back is just simple stripe this one does not it's a very huge paper of water floral watercolor floral i love this page Make time for the things you love. That. Cute. A 
like this. This looked like bubble wrap. And this is make things make time for the things you love too, but this is gold foil on black. This is just a little bit too much. I don't know exactly how I would use that. Um, be impossible to forget. Look how cute this is. This is great for a page that I'm going to make for myself because my daughter doesn't love pink. I love this. Believe in yourself. Oh, this is great for my son's book. Right? So pretty. And that. And this their daily detail, the cut apart. Be brave, be thankful, be kind. Reach for the stars. Be different, be unique, be yourself. Live life in full bloom. I love that too. Oh, look at these cute banners. And then the uh, doohickey got gold foil pretty much on every single um, sticker. That's why it's $9.99. There you go. Yeah. And that was Make Your Mark. Um, this one is called Monsters and Friends. I do have a couple pieces of paper from this one. This one does not, did not come, it, this was uh, $9.99 as well. This one did not come with a doohickey uh, sticker sheet. Look at these cute ghosties. I like this um, diamond pattern. And this one have like a bunch of Halloween words or sentences. Grab a costume and cackle for the camera. Wishing you a happy holiday. May your treat be many and your tricks be few. Da da da. Right? And that cute diamond pattern again. Then we have the borders. Funny borders. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> don't know why he's so scared. The boo crew. Super cute. And just the back got stars, uh, tone on tone in black and gray. This is the daily details. Hi, pumpkin. Look at this cute guy. Put your hand in the air if you don't scare. <laughs> Let's look at that cute house. So this is for Halloween that is not scary, which that's me. I love this um, pattern, so I'm glad we have several in different color. Some cute flowers. And this, oh, this will make me dizzy. Some horizontal, uh, diagonal stripes. Some clouds. And that. Oh my gosh, look at these pumpkins. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> I love it. With the glasses. I love kids and glasses. My um, niece, uh, Vivian, and uh, not Vivian, I'm sorry, Erin, she had to wear glasses since she was three. She had, she was trying to fix a, she had a little bit of a cross eye or something. Um, don't know exactly, and she's still wearing them. She's so cute when she wears them. Look at these spiders. They look surprised. Look at those eyes. And then the tone on tone stars. We've got some gingham here and some black and white dots. Beautiful stripes. Oops. And some ghosties in a teal color. Some pumpkin. These are great background paper because they're all tone on tone. And I love that. This one is a great tone on tone as well of the stars. And then the candy band, candy monsters. Okay, so the next collection is called Popsicle and Pandas. I've never heard of this collection. I think I saw one piece of paper from it, um, but I, I've never seen it in person before. And look how cute that is. So you've got the borders. Oh, I love those snails in the top. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And the popsicles. And look at those panda. We're just talking about glasses. My niece have a pair of glasses. She wear a pair of glasses that's kind of teal color like that. Sweet summertime. And so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty too. And then the popsicle paper. So pretty, right? And the star paper in pink. And the pandas eating ice cream and flipping upside down. Look at He's so cute. Like, oh 
oh my gosh and that i don't love that page so that's good the other guys are so cute on the other side cute flowers i love this that's very the same pattern but tone on tone so easy to use and then this one is the daily detail they're cut apart you're my favorite daydream. I'll stop the world and melt with you. Oh, that, isn't that the lyrics of a song? I love that. And then this is their sticky bit. It's uh, called doohickey. So cute. Okay, let me move this. It doesn't cast a shadow on the rest of the stuff. Let me see. Where I can put this. Okay, right, and then Squeeze the Day. This is a summer collection. So cute. I saw um, my crafty friend Karen Yego from Yes Please Paper Craft. She has a channel on YouTube under Yes Please Paper Craft. Hi, Karen, if you're watching. And she had used one of these, um, several of these papers from this collection to do her. Um, scrapbook layout and it was I, I thought it was so cute and I've never seen it on sale or anything like that so such cute cute oh my gosh that's I love hearts paper I love hearts anything so cute they don't I don't see too many so I'm looking forward to um, Valentine maybe find some more heart stuff at Dollar Tree very cute stripes look at these oranges slices yeah so a lot of these paper one page have fruits summer fruit i love cherries oh one time i was i had the i was um i tasted a what was it called there's a name it's a, like a tart a tart cherry pie oh my gosh they're made with these very special look at how cute these lemons are very special um tart cherries from some states that they, i guess they have them but only for part of the year and oh my gosh it was so good because i don't like i don't like dessert that's super sweet and these tart cherries made it so wonderful and they they had filled it with quite a bit of the cherries instead of just all that jelly sweet on you you are you are eat fruit to be cute <laughs> you are sweet sweet on you okay um and it was so delicious and since then i have not been able to find it ever again i used to remember exactly what it was called now i can't even remember i called all the pie shop in my area looking for some but nope so sad so sad look at this cute borders i'm so sweet yes i am Life is short. Squeeze all you can out of it. Oh, I love that. Follow the rainbow. Very cute. Daily detail. I'm so happy. Can you tell? I'm so happy I got these. These papers just make you happy. I don't care if I get to use them. You know, I have so many so many papers. As you know, I just keep buying and buying. You silly girl, Rosalie. So, but hey, you know. That's just how it goes. All right, so that was Squeeze the Day. And then the last um, collection from Bella Boulevard is called Wish Big. And it's a, it's a, um, um, what you might call it, a uh, baby, and uh, not baby, a boy's birthday paper. And this one, this is not part of the collection. I guess this one has, they added more, a few more pieces of extra paper for you. So this is their plaid and not plaid gingham and dots plaid oh plaid plaid and dotty so you have a couple of them in the colors of the collection let's go did you get three of them and then now this start the collection here weird that's interesting but that's good actually you have some you know kind of background paper to use some pretty numbers and dinosaur i love this one it's got some candles and some beautiful color stripes this is music background tone on tone you can see the music notes some cute ice cream cone this is such a beautiful color 
color palette. And then this is their, um, oh, I don't see the borders. Did I see the borders? I don't remember the borders. Okay, now look at that frog. Happy bug. Oh, I love this one. So cute. And then the birthday cake. These you can easily cut apart if you like. And the green paper. Okay, so that was Wish Big. So then the last two things I found is I found the um, uh, this collection from My Mind's Eye. I've seen it before, but this time it's on sale for from 12 to 9. So it's not a huge sale, but hey, you know. And um, actually, now that I got it and flipped through it, it's really cute. This is They come with a 6x8 paper pad, double-sided. You get two of each. And look how cute. So I'm going to focus on this page and then you can see the background paper on that one um, as I go through. Oops. Oh, I like that. It got some gold foil on there. This one got the gold foil on the palm trees. Oh, this is nice. Say yay, going places, day like the sunshine, life is good, tropical, best day ever. Like that too. That's a beautiful color. The flamingos. <laughs> I love flamingos. So cute. I don't know why they keep standing on one leg. So weird. <laughs> I like that. And this is the flower, pink flowers, dark paper, some cute stripes, some pineapples. Right? Isn't the color so sweet? Okay, and I think it's repeats here, right? Somewhere, yeah. Okay, so that was the six by eight paper pad. And um, so on, and let me show you the um, sticker sheets. It comes with six sheets of stickers. I already took it apart so you can see. And they share with you what you get here. Okay, and let me show you the... You still have a sheet of alphabets. These are thick, kind of thick, so. Get this. Um, very pretty. They're good size. These pages are bigger than the normal sticker sheets that you get from like American Craft and stuff. You got two flamingos to play with instead of just one. So cute. Look at those. Um, sunglasses. I wish I had that. That's like fun. Oh, look at that. Pina colada. Just a coconut drink. It's not pina colada, but I wish. Okay, so that was the sticker sheet, and then it came with a a um, a bag of embellishment. It's got 40 pieces on it. That's what you get. Yeah, 40 pieces. This is what you get in it. And I don't, this is kind of bizarre. <laughs> I'm just like a tiny little piece of string and one crystal and one button. I mean, just give us paper goods, please. We can find our own, own, own buttons and strings and gem bellies. All right, so that's that. And then the last collection that I found is from Simple Stories called Apron Strings. And um, it's $9.99, and actually, I, I like this. Now, it's not, I've seen this before, but, and it's focused more on, it's farmhouse-ish, and it's a little bit retro, but, and I don't cook, but my husband does, so this would be cool. And you get supposedly one paper for, by pattern, you get 12. And that, turn on tune. You get some farm animal sheet. Like that. I love these apron. Look at these. So cute. I wish they didn't touch so I can cut them apart. But anyway, and some old fashioned vintage recipe card. The back is the back. Look at these cute toadstool. 
I love this color, so pretty with the pink and the teal and the stripes. Oh, okay, you get two of these. Okay, if I get two of these that are missing something. Interesting. So these are the tags. So if I want to complete the co collection, I better look to make sure what else is supposed to be on here. Simple Story has a really nice um, full collection, you know, detail with very clear posting of what paper goes in what collection and things on their website. So if you ever need to know, that's available there. This is cute. And this is the four by four cut apart. Let's eat. Cute, right? A chicken page. Cute, cute. Okay, I got two of these also. So I'm missing two pieces of paper somewhere. I love this. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? See, that's the one you should give me too. Actually, this one too. Oh, wow. Okay, both of them is gorgeous. So I need to get at least another piece of this one. See, this is the one you should give me too. Look at that retro oven. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, and then this is the, um, what do you call it? Um, car stock stickers. Pretty, huh? Okay. And so with these collections from um, Tuesday morning, they always give you a couple of embellishment. So I got the vintage tile uh, stencil. And the other one that I got was the, the, uh, the um, washi tape with the toadstool on it, which is nice because <clears throat> I don't have anything like that. Cute, right? So pretty and sweet in terms of the color. So you got those two. And then in the meantime, um, I had, this was even before I knew I had the collection. I found um, these on sale. They're just um, enamel dots, um, very cute colors. And so I picked it up for, it was on sale. I can't remember how much. And then the, I found also a bag of um, journal bits from the collection that was on sale. So I picked that up and there was a couple piece that didn't, oh, I missed a couple of these that stuck onto the thing. It's got these, I'll show it to you. I don't, it doesn't quite all fit, but we'll make do. Okay, so going from the top, got some cute words. Just roll with it. And this is actually two pieces. Okay, this is just on top of the blank area of that piece. Can't touch this. I love that song. You remember? If you're old like me, you'll remember it. And this one is separate from this one. That piece, dinner, is separate. I just threw it on top. Okay, so that's the journal bit. I believe you get 39 pieces with this. Okay, so that was what I found at my Dollar Tree. I mean, my Tuesday morning yesterday and a week ago. So I'm so happy with what I found. And hopefully you find some Bella Boulevard in your local Tuesday morning as well. And until then, until next time, I mean, you go have yourself a fun weekend. Bye for now.